So, I actually did a Twitter poll. And if you haven't seen this deck, we're actually going to be um, reading with this deck. This is a new view just because it's, I was like, I need to do readings. It's been a minute and it might be a little wobbly. I ain't gonna lie. Um, the way that I have this set up and just all of that. So bear with me. We're going to be using the literary tarot today. This is going to be a pick a card because I actually did a poll um, on my Instagram, just crystals, period, astrolytics, and um, it was like 50-50. Do I do a reading by the signs or do I re do a pick a card and so I'm going to do a pick a card first, just because that's where my spirit is. That's all I have the energy for. Ooh. All right. Literally just got these. So I uh, shuffle these pretty well. There'll be four cards. provide a clear message for Jupiter and Taurus and what that means for those here. And so Jupiter and Taurus actually went, Jupiter went into Taurus earlier in May um, and it's going to be there until next year and so it might be amplifying different parts of your chart but it will include some foundational things. So it can include income, it can include all kinds of things, self-worth, um, our financial foundations, and we might see it on a collective stage as well. But what is Jupiter bringing to the folks that are going to pick these cards? All right, we got one. Did not see it, so I have no idea if it's upright or not. Okay, all right. I actually just added these to the shop, and I also did a review for these. Let's give me two more cards. They're actually bigger than my hands, so look at that. Two more cards, two more cards. Oop. This one flipped over, so I'm gonna actually do that as an overall. <clears throat> and this one is at the top, so I'll get that. So let's look at what came out for the overall. Mm. I like this for all of us. These are too many cards. So I like this for all of us as an overall, look at this deck, yo. Um, six of ink is a six of wands and it is triumph. It is charging forward. It is victory that you worked hard for. Um, so that is the overall energy for Jupiter and Taurus. I might be specific, um, but it feels overall like the collective. And so... <clears throat> You may have struggled a lot to get to these things, to get your merit due. And so, I wish I had stones around here. Let me see. I'm in a completely different section in my space. So, I don't have stones but I do have essential oils <laughs> so that is what we will be using all right sleepy time oh I will arrange this better so you can see there we go I want y'all to be able to 
know what you're choosing. So that's sleepy time, lemongrass, um, clary sage oil, which I use a lot of, and tea tree. I'm trying to make sure I don't ruin my new deck. Okay. So clary sage. So one is sleepy time. Two is lemongrass. Three is clary sage. And four is the tea tree. Give you some time to decide. Um, and so the literary tarot deck uh, just got added to the shop. This is an indie press. And this is Brink Literary C Press. And these are basically all based on classic books. And so... I'll probably be reading from the book just so that we get a little bit of what that story is and maybe it will add to your story. So, I'll move these all over. <clears throat> and we're just going to do one card. All right. Ooh, the death card. So, for those who picked the sleepy time... <laughs> I love that it's sleepy time because um, you may need to rest. I don't know what it is that may need your surrender. It might be that changes are coming, the things that are not serving you for this next year, the foundations that are weak will be crumbling and it may feel hard to shed this new self, but it's making space for something else. And Spirit was like, come look at the deck. And so in order for you to reign supreme, and it has the sun back there, um, for you to reign supreme, you gotta let the things that are weighing you down go. Like how Toni Morrison said, you gotta let the shit that weighs you down go. And so do not be afraid of the changes that are coming in. It is okay to pivot. It is okay to change your mind, to go a different route, to want to be able to deepen the places that might feel um, shallow, right? And if, if there's no roots there and there's no space for things to grow, then let it die, let it rot, let it no longer be a part of your life garden, right? So it is scary, um, but it doesn't always have to be so. So let's look at the death card in here. Oops. <clears throat> so this the of course it's Dracula. Um paired pairing by Rebecca Roanhorse, which is an excellent author, highly recommend. You have so long feared death that you have not seen the promise in it. Why? It is as natural as life itself, the ending that precedes a beginning, upright, transformation, endings, change, transition, letting go. Just like Lucy, you may be going through a major transformation. Beware those who would prefer to keep you idealized in their own image of who you should be. I would say that it can include you. They'll use everything in their power to control you. Embrace the change, even if something makes you a monster. So that is card number one. <clears throat> so lemongrass is actually a very good energy. Let's see what's under here. Of course, the sun. <laughs> the sun is the best card in the deck. Um, lemongrass overall is an abundant oil plant. It just good things all around. And so um, I don't get better than that, to be quite honest. It might be that all of the hard work and all of the hard things and strife that you have been through are no longer, right? Like your ship finally came in 
the blessings are here the bounty is received you're getting your money in all of that stuff the sun is an avatar oh the so the story is black beauty by anna sowell pairing by kd edwards the sun the sun is an avatar for optimism and vitality bask in its glow for it signals abundance better times triumph at the end of adversity and both physical and emotional stamina happiness success optimism vitality confidence your dear black beauty is a bulwark against emotions that thrive in darkness your fears your egoism your moments lacking inspiration and confidence persevere and never give up hope take the reins of your life and radiate love all around you don't get no better than that folks i don't even got nothing else to say you know um all i hear is uh the song my sunshine has come and there's no more rain in this cloud clary sage clary sage i actually really love because it's one of the few things that i can enjoy um that has a little bit of a floral vibe but it's also a purifying kind of energy this thing has an edge okay here we go Ooh, purifying i would say get your protections up friends uh, the ten of ink especially in this one is very much giving envy Hater ration in the dance read. Um, it feels a little bit malevolent to be quite honest. So if you have really amazing things coming in, be mindful of who you share it with. Um, but also don't overly burden you yourself with things that do not belong to you. Um, you know, sometimes the desire to feel needed, we tend to overperform and things like that. The Scarlet Letter, A Romance, by Nathaniel Hawthorne. First you bear a cross foisted upon you by the community, and then you carry the burden of truth. You have come far, but your suffering is not yet complete. Um, usually 10 also represents the ending of a cycle, so this might be that. Um, oh, before I keep going. So a lot of times, we have created our stories around helplessness or pity or being the, the wounded person. And it is up to you to shed that, right? There's more power within than what our struggle is, than what our suffering has been. Allow that to fuel you to get to the other side of that. <clears throat> Upright, burden, stress, obligation, burning out, struggles. It's only a single letter made of cloth and sewn upon your breast, but it is heavy, even as you gain the trust of those who doubted you. Finding solace, more obstacles await, ensuring you your endless encumbrance. What I would, oh, I like the reversed. Failure to delegate, collapse, breakdown, exhaustion, so friends, you can put that down. You can leave the thing that burdens you. You can let it go because it doesn't belong to you. Be it martyrdom, being, you know, accepting all these extra jobs. There was something um, I was listening to, maybe Twitter or a TikTok, probably a TikTok, um, where someone said, be careful with your yeses. And make sure your yeses are things that you would say yes a thousand times to. So, Black people, especially. Um, find your moments of rest. Recalibrate pleasure into your life. There is no need to continue in a life of obligation. So, it's only going to continue if you allow it to do so. I'll actually give you one more card. The Page of Parchment. Okay. Is that a second card? They're actually just really thick. Okay. So for the third card, Page of Parchment, which means um, new opportunities are coming in. 
right? This is a page of swords or cups. Let me look. A page of parchment is usually somebody who is bringing news. And so um, you might be breaking the news to people and letting them know, you know what? My sunshine too has come because I'm not about to do this anymore. This might be a season where you need to have boundaries not only with others, but with yourself. And so you don't need to prove you're worthy of rest and consideration. I'm trying to get this Queen King page. Romeo and Juliet, pairing by Chloe Gong. It's never easy to draw out the future and the line between unraving dedication and doomed fate is as thin as a dagger. Dare to love, it is wonderful to be ambitious and faithful toward the task that you are put in this, onto this world for. No matter how arduous it is, this loyalty is a grounding force. Lean into it to see what your future holds. May that loyalty also include yourself. So continue on the path to your growth but um, you don't got to carry, carry other people's BS. All right. So this is the tea tree oil, which is great for antibacterial. It has a lot of great uses, actually. So tea tree oil is that grow. Two of ink. And I'm guessing it's the jungle book. Um, guessing. I like this because you can actually you're on top of the tree and you can see everything you can see the opportunities you can see the horizon the sun and so it feels like so many things are possible all right two of ink the jungle book by rudyard kipling pairing by carrie Mordridge. A. Thou must chart a path through an unknown jungle. You are being called to make a decision with a brave heart and careful eye. Start simple and follow your instincts. Planning, making decisions, leaving comfort. Am I showing you the right thing? Yeah. Leaving comfort, taking risks. Move swiftly and sharpen your focus on the goal ahead. Leave the cage of your comfort behind and courageously explore possibilities beyond your wildest imagination. All it takes is the first step, but also visualizing what would it look like on the other side? Um, and what would it take to sustain you to keep going? And so if, don't let analysis paralysis stop you from your greatness. just sometimes we just gotta do the thing scared sometimes we have to do the thing um without feeling like we're prepared but whole time we have all the tools that we need and so we actually have a reversal page of quills oh quills is sword <clears throat> and so what i would say is um, you see how it's like page of quills and there's all these people and all this stuff and somebody side eyeing and with this reverse to me it's giving very much so you don't need to ask anyone permission to move forward but yourself if you want to commune with spirit just like the character Mowgli is doing there um, do that and you'll get your answer but always know that you can step forward to possibility. And that is that, friends. Thank you. Let me know what card you chose. Um, and I will see you next time. Oh, also, don't forget to subscribe, share with a homie, tell a homie. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Let me know if you want the horoscopes by sign for June. I might get into that. We'll see. Have a great evening.